Howdy. Bought myself a thermocell. Actually, I bought it for the boss for Christmas and I'm using it. She's in Adelaide at the moment. Uh, but anyway, that's a side story. Went to bed last night, forgot to turn it off, woke up this morning and the gas bottle was empty. Been burning all night. Got onto YouTube, was looking up the thermocells and how good they work, and they do work pretty good, by the way. Uh, and I saw a video by Aussie Off-Roaders on how to refill the canisters. So, it's like all good things, you have to try it yourself before you can work out whether it's any good. So, my empty gas bottle, I'm going to attempt to refill it. In this particular case, I've got a pair of vice grips, a Phillips head screwdriver, and, I don't know if you can see that, a screw. These are the implements we need to pull the thing apart, and then we need to fill the canister afterwards. This is one of those $2 gas bottles you buy from the shop, but importantly, it's got a refiller type thing on the top of it. So I've got this, and, and this will do this, this particular can will do the same job as well. But the important part is it's got one of those adapters. Now the thing that wasn't in that video was that filling it, um, there's a little valve inside, and you have to depress that to be able to fill it. So you need one of these. So anyway, let's not get stretched too much further. Following the instructions, a little brass fitting is a press fit, so I'm only lightly clamping onto this. There we go, let's press fit and pull it out. You won't see it, but inside there is a little grey one way valve. We need to get that out, and we're going to get that out with a screw. So I'm just winding in a little bit, it's a wood screw. I've got the screw to bite. And there's a bit of a squeaking noise you can hear, which means that the screw is actually gripped onto it. Still with my vice grips, I'm not holding onto the screw too much. And then pull that out. screw. Okay, next step, press the fitting back in. So you can press it in most of the way. You won't be able to see it on the video but there's a tiny little lip in there and you've got to push it all the way down to that. So just need a hard surface and basically clicks into place. Now the last bit is filling it with gas. Um, I've literally had to whittle away at one of the um, one of these little fittings to be able to get it inside um, and you when you try this yourself you'll see that there's a little um, another little valve inside there that needs to depress a little bit but the Aussie off-roader reckons it takes a fair while to fill them up so look here there we go there's a fair bit of gas not going in because my whittling isn't particularly good. Uh, and one of the problems you get, I don't know if you can see that, but there's blowflies attracted by the smell of that. So all I've done is I've... Look at that, bloody everywhere. Not only that, I had a march fly come past, attracted by the gas, and it, uh, it bit my foot. <laughs> Occupational hazard. All I've done is I've just filled it to the very top of the little label that's in there. Now I can keep an eye on that to see if it leaks at all uh, and see how we go, but it's fairly quick and simple. But as I said, the main trick is trying to do something with this. I might see if I can go buy one that actually fits inside the hole, um, and then that would be ideal. So. Last but not least, I've got a gas bottle in here that works. Turn it on. You can hear the gas running. And I'm not 
sure whether you can see that or not, but that's gas is working. So if you're anything like me and a bit forgetful, go to bed and forget to turn the bottle off. You're out in the bush. You haven't got any backups. This might get you out of trouble. Anyway, if you uh, enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.